Okay, so in this video, we will consider another example of a rather subtle U substitution. And we'll have to be a little crafty to pull it out. So let's remind ourselves of the following integral. So if you integrate 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx, remember that the integral is simply asking for an antiderivative. So do we know a function whose derivative with respect to x is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared? And hopefully you remember that the derivative of arc sine of x is exactly this expression. So all this is is arc sine of x plus c. Arc sine is an antiderivative of 1 over root of 1 minus x squared because the derivative of arc sine is 1 over the root of 1 minus x squared. Now what if I tweak this a little bit and what if I ask you to integrate now x over the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth power dx. Well this may seem hopeless, right? If this was not x to the 4 but x squared then you would have 1 minus u squared the derivative of which would be negative 2x, 1 minus x squared, sorry, the derivative of which would be 1, would be minus 2x, up to negative 2, it just be x, and this would be a rather simple u substitution. But here, the derivative of 1 minus x to the 4 is negative 4x cubed. And what we have on top is not an x cubed, but a simple x. So it seems that we're kind of stuck here. Well, the idea is the u sub is hiding inside of this fourth power. If you think, well, what power of x gives you a derivative that is x? Well, you think x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x up to 2. It's just x. But there is an x squared hiding in here as x to the 4 is x squared squared. And this is why this is a rather subtle u substitution. So 1 minus x squared squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x up to 2. It's just here. And x is multiplying the expression. This is now a perfect problem for a u substitution, letting u be simply x squared. And now let's see what comes out. u is a function of x. Differentiate u with respect to x gives you 2x. If you look on top, we have x dx, so let's isolate x dx. Let's multiply both sides by dx, and so du is 2x dx. But we want to isolate x dx and not 2x dx, so divide by 2, or multiply by 1 half, and you have 1 half du is x dx. And now we can replace. On the numerator, we have times x dx, but x dx is just 1 half du. That leaves us with 1 over the square root of 1 minus, and now we are replacing x squared by u. So we have 1 minus u squared. And now we have the substitution going from the integral in terms of x to in terms of u. 1 half is a scalar multiple. We can factor it out. We have 1 half integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du. And this is rather simple, right? If you integrate 1 over the root of 1 minus x squared dx, you get arc sine of x. This is now the same integral. But instead of x, it's a u. So this will be 1 half, don't leave it behind, arc sine of u. And in the end, we want the final answer to be a function of x. So we replace u by x squared. And so we get 1 half arc sine of x squared plus the constant of integration. 
So once you see the U sub, the problem was rather straightforward. But this is just to show you that you have to be sometimes a little crafty. A U substitution may be hiding inside another expression and you have to basically pull it out. I'll leave you with a uh, another example and this will be as an exercise so try and sh show, try and come up with a way to pull out a U substitution to show that if you integrate x to the 4 over 1 plus x to the 10 dx that this will turn out to be 1 over 5 the arctangent of x to the 5 plus c. So same thing here, if you look at your denominator, the derivative would be 10 x to the 9, x to the 9 is not multiplying the expression. So it looks like a u sub will not work. But just as a u sub was hiding in this problem, a different u sub is also hiding in this one. So try and come up with it and arrive at this answer. One last short little comment just to show you how again a little change can really make a big difference. With the x to the 4 the u sub was hiding. If it were an x to the 2 then the u sub wouldn't be hiding. It would be quite apparent. But before you look at this one make sure that you solve this problem. So hit pause, solve this problem then you can look at this one which is a very simple U substitution. So as I've said instead of the 1 minus x to the 4 we'll simply go with the 1 minus x squared dx. And here there's nothing hiding the derivative of 1 minus x squared is negative 2x up to negative 2 it's x which multiplies the expression perfect setup for U sub and everything is explicit. differentiate u with respect to x which gives you negative 2x. We will want to isolate x dx as a function of du so multiply by dx. du will be negative 2x dx. We want to solve for dx so divide by negative 2 on both sides and you'll have negative 1 half du is x dx and now we can replace. We are multiplying by x dx which is negative one half du and we have a one over the square root of one minus x squared but one minus x squared is simply u and this now is a trivial integral. Pull the negative one half up front as it is a scalar multiple. 1 over root of u, well u, the root of u is u to the 1 half and if you bring this back up to the numerator the power of 1 half becomes negative 1 half and now we can use simply the power rule. Negative 1 half stays up front as a scalar multiple. Add negative 1 half 1 and you get positive 1 half. Divide by the new power of 1 half plus c if you divide by a half you multiply by 2 so they cancel each other and you're left with negative u to the 1 half plus c if you prefer write the 1 half as root of u plus c and finally we want the final answer in terms of x but u was 1 minus x squared and so replace and you get quite simply the negative of the square root of 1 minus x squared plus c just to show you, this was rather easy at this point, but just to show you how a small difference can really make a big change in how we approach the problem. This was very, very straightforward, perfect setup for a U substitution. There was nothing subtle about the problem, but changing the x to the 2 for an x to the 4, then our U sub was actually hiding. And make sure that you, again, come up with the right U substitution to arrive at this answer for this integral. And that's it.